top of the morning to everyone out there in the crypto verse checking this out today and in the future on uh, one of my mediums that I get these videos out this is episode 381 no edits crypto jam-packed full of news today market looking quite green right now uh, first story is three reasons why Bitcoin will hit 30k by end of 2019 from Asado Avon Nomeo of the Bitcoinist. Chihan Chu of Kinetic lays out three reasons why Bitcoin price will reach a new all-time high of 30,000 before the end of 2019. Speaking to Bloomberg TV on Tuesday, the Kinetic co-founder highlighted three important factors that will drive Bitcoin to its new all-time high. First, Chu identified growing institutional Bitcoin adoption with many conglomerates developing products and services around Bitcoin. In, a, in 2019 alone, firms like Fidelity and Microsoft have made massive announcements about plans to adopt Bitcoin. Chu also highlighted the growing IPO investor fatigue as uh, noticed in recent offerings made by Uber and Lyft. I think we are seeing a counter-cyclical argument with the recent disappointments of Uber and Lyft IPOs in the market. People are looking for a different type of tech story and one in per and one is perhaps accessible to all. He isn't the only one to predict the renewed interest in Bitcoin on the back of a disappointing IPO run for established brands and recently going public. Speaking to CNBC earlier in May, billionaire venture, venture capitalist Tim Draper said, investors are becoming alive to the fact that even stocks of companies like Uber and Lyft won't yield more than 10 or 20%. Investors on the hunt for returns, huge returns will have to look towards Bitcoin and other high-performing cryptos. Finally, the Kinetic Chief pointed to the 2020 Bitcoin halving as another factor that will drive up the price of Bitcoin. One market analyst even has predicted post-halving price at 55000 Bitcoin doesn't need an ETF. Chu, however, downplayed the importance of a Bitcoin ETF, which I'm in agreement with. We don't need their ETF really to uh, establish what we're trying to do here. Although it will... I assume uh, pump the price when it happens, if it ever does, saying that there are already significant institutional Bitcoin trading avenues set to go live. Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, and E-Trade are some of the firms that have already announced plans to offer Bitcoin trading. Commenting on the matter, Kinetic Fund uh, co-founder quipped, to be honest, I'm not waiting with bated breath for an ETF to be listed anytime soon. If it does, Great, but to be honest, we are going to be getting major traction and major volume increase from people like Fidelity. All of these different factors are going to drive adoption whether the ETF comes tomorrow or in 10 years. Earlier in May, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, once again delayed its decision in yet another BTC ETF filing. Each or, uh, SEC Commissioner Hester Pierce has even come out to say uh, to investors they don't need to hold their breath for an SEC ETF happening anytime soon. So... Um, very interesting story. I uh, predicted we'd be in five figures by the end of this year, but um, I, don't, I don't know if I thought it would happen this fast. Things are happening pretty fast, and uh, it seems like this, this uh, cycle might take off quicker than uh, towards the uh, new all-time highs than I, yeah, I even expected. Uh, second story is UK exchange CoinFloor is getting paid to help crypto firms access banking. CoinFloor, the UK's longest running crypto exchange, has teamed up with electronic money institution EMI, Enemis, to deliver bank-like accounts to crypto firms, a perennial pain point access or across the country, uh, industry. Under the partnership, Enemis will pay CoinFloor a fee for referring reputable crypto-facing businesses that successfully set up current accounts. Being insiders in the crypto space, we are aware of the crypto companies operating as good and compliant custodians, and so now we will vet and review these and recommend them to Enemis for onboarding. Obi Nosu, CEO of CoinFloor, told Coindesk, I think brokering is technically the wrong word, but we are working in partnership with Enemis uh, and introducing clients to the offering. So, news out of the UK. And third story is Barclays leads $5.5 million round for blockchain business payments startup. Barclay, Barclays Bank has, prom, or has backed a $5.5 million series, a funding round for blockchain-based B2B payments startup crowds. The round was jointly led by Barclays and investment firm Bold Capital Partners Crowds. 
and now it's Tuesday with TFX Capital Partners, Tech Stars Ventures, and First Derivatives also participating. The investment will go toward product development, marketing, and sales, as well as team hiring, according to the firm. Crowd sets out to disrupt the payments industry with a focus of nine trillion global uh, receivables market via its blockchain-based invoice exchange. The service allows companies to automatically digitize, digitize invoices and speed up payment collections. Kevin Hawkins, a former White House economist and now Crowd's chief strategist, said that the 90% of the world's annual inventory of more than 400 billion invoices are still manually processed. So we have a long way to go, and that is uh, one way to get it done. Into the um, market for today, uh, I wanted to add one last uh, piece of news that I, I took a couple day hiatus uh, from my vlog that um, Microsoft Excel has added um, Bitcoin to its list, list of currencies on its uh, new program, the updated version. So uh, they, uh, they first they laugh, then they, then they join up. Uh, we're watching this happen in our uh, lifetime. Money is changing. And there's a wealth transfer at, underway to the people that are smart enough to get on board right now. Not financial advice. Bitcoin up 0.08%. $8,681. Uh, Ethereum up 1%. $271.39. Bitcoin Cash having a nice morning. Up 5.66%, $453.29, up more than $23 in the last two days. EOS up 1.92%, $8.09. Light, excuse me, Litecoin up 1.8%, $116.43. Bitcoin SV, I hate to mention it, up 49.63%, $178.62. Monero up, down 1.73%, $95.04. Dash. Continues its ascent up 1.35%, 168.85. IOTA up 19.79%, 52 cents. Ethereum Classic up 2.28%, $8.36. NEO up 11.55%. I mentioned in a lot of vlogs, even though I've lost a little bit of faith in what they're doing, that uh, NEO was getting really, really undervalued there for a while, up to $13.58 now to steam which was at 41 cents earlier this morning and is currently still at 41 cents up point zero excuse me up point six six cents and lastly flash currently at point zero zero two six cents and up point zero nine cents against fiat in the last 24 hours aggregate market cap up about five billion dollars already this morning and bitcoin dominance at 56.18 percent it looks like we're have a miniature altcoin season going on right now we'll have to wait and see if that continues the rest of today as bitcoin's pretty much been trading sideways since it shot up to 88 uh 88 8900 there uh down a little bit but 100 150 dollars in Bitcoin is like a, a drop in the bucket. That can change in an instant. Uh, aggregate market cap, like I said, $274 billion, 57 million, 626000 up about $5 uh, billion this morning. So everyone have a good Wednesday.